Good morning. Today I'm going to talk about poetry. The topic is how the internet can help. We might begin by thinking of China. We have a long tradition in the formation of scholars. They began the studies early in life perhaps when they were only six years old. What do they do in the classes? They start by remembering or reciting the classics. They did not understand most of the things they read. Their teacher might enlighten them, but since there were no school inspectors or headmasters, we cannot be sure that their masters were doing a good job. The students or the pupils worked all day. They did recitation, calligraphy, and essay writing. Yet such a way of teaching has produced the Chinese civilization. When one tries to do a BA in English at home, it is like going to a classic Chinese school several hundred years ago. You are alone with just your teacher or maybe some fellow classmates. All the information and knowledge you acquire comes from one person alone, your teacher. You really have to do all the work by yourself. This is what is happening if you try to study a BA at home with just your computer. You have to work all the time. Today I will start with poetry. To be effective, you will need a smartphone and perhaps something like this. Otherwise, you can have your computer on or your laptop on while using your smartphone. That means you should have two devices working at the same time. One device is to assess poems recited by experts. So for example, if you type great poems recited by great actors or something similar, you will find many listings on your YouTube. Then choose one or two of the poems you like and use your Google to find the lyrics of the poem itself with the other phone or iPad. So with one poem, you can have a, a voice, that is the, uh, the poem recited by the uh, actor, and another phone or iPad in which you will have the lyrics, the words. After listening to it for a few times, I suggest you try to read aloud the same poem yourself along with the actor or speaker who reads or recites the poem. You don't have to know everything about the poem. We listen to operas and we normally do not know the lyrics. Poetry is like music. We can survive without knowing everything in it. In a classical Chinese classroom, the teacher would say, you will understand all these things. You recite one day.
This is actually how I acquired my English. When I was in Form 1 at the age of 12, I would read English books that I did not fully understand. I even did not know the pronunciation of many of the words I read. Yet after a while, it did not really matter. Babies learned their first language this way. They taught, they were not taught languages, and yet they learned it in a few years. I went to Hong Kong when I was six. I did not know Cantonese, yet after a year, I could speak Cantonese while not forgetting the Mandarin I already knew. I therefore acquired two languages by seven. This is why I think that the best way to fully acquire the knowledge of the English usage can be done like the way a child learns another language. Just enjoy the sounds and the poetry. After a while, it becomes music and it will stay. After some time, it becomes part of you. Of course, you can help yourself by using search engines, translation app, and Google Map or Google Search to help you overcome the problems of facing the words that you do not understand. Thank you.